It's the Adventures of Napkin Man. <laughs> Super Scott. Oh no! I'm going to fall! Someone help me! Don't worry, Mr. Chopper. Super Scott is here. Super Scott to the rescue! I crown thee Princess Hendra. Hi, thank you, Mr. Anthony. <laughs> Hey, Super Scott, you got room for one more under here? I'm not Super Scott anymore. I'm the Scott. Well, why? Is something wrong with your cape? It's not a cape. It's a blanket. And blankies are for babies. Is that right? What makes you say that? Because that's what some other kids said. Hmm. And that's what's got you hiding under this table? Yeah. I want to get small so that no one sees me. That's pretty small. I feel embarrassed. Mm, embarrassed, huh? And only babies have blankies. Well, you know, when I'm feeling embarrassed and tiny and small, I do the growly bear stretch to feel big and tall. Check it out. When you're feeling tiny and small, you stand up and make yourself big and tall, and then you growl like a bear. And then you stretch your hands way up in the air. You can try it. OK. Oh, that's very good. You feel better? A little. But I'm still not going to have my blankie anymore. Well then, how about a napkin man story? Sure. All right, bring your blanket just in case. This one is about the time napkin man helped a little boy named Ricky who had a super problem, just like you. Let's call them together, shall we? Yep. Napkin man! Hiya, Scott. Hey, Mr. Anthony. After man? Uh, uh, Mr. Anthony. I think you forgot something. His key. Mm. Oh, sorry, Napkin Man. Thanks. Now I'm super capable. Get it? Capable? <laughs> I'm Napkin Man. I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man. I'll help you feel OK. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Man? Hi, Super Ricky. Nice to bump into you. Sorry, I was too busy flying to see where I was going. <laughs> Superhero problems. I was flying too. Whoosh! Nice. <laughs> hey, want to see someone who can really fly? Sure. Mr. Bumbles, watch this. Wow, he really can fly. Want to try? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, you aren't kidding. Mr. Bumbles is a great flyer. Ricky has a teddy bear. Ricky is a baby. Hmm. Uh, Super Ricky, there you are. Uh, was that a friend of yours? That's Kevin. 
He always teases me about Mr. Bumbles and makes me feel bad. I just want to get small and hide. It sounds like you're feeling embarrassed. I know that feeling. You do? Sure, everyone feels embarrassed sometimes. Well, it doesn't feel good. You're right about that, but I know how you can feel better. How? Do the growly bear stretch. It'll help you feel bigger and stronger. When you're feeling super small, stand up high and get real tall. First, you growl like a bear. <laughs> Bears don't moo. That's a cow. Oh, right. Let me try again. When you're feeling super small, stand up high and get real tall. First, you growl like a bear. Then stretch up high into the air. First, you growl. And then you stretch. Oh, you look taller already. You feel better? A little. Hey, want to see my super fort? Sure. Follow me. Wow, nifty super fort. Thanks. It's our secret headquarters. Mr. Bumbles and I come here to practice our superpowers. Ooh, what kind of superpowers? Like when I do this sound, I'm super fast. <laughs> Watch me use my superpowers to go invisible. Napkin Man, where'd you go? You disappeared. Ha, I'm right here. <laughs> Good one. Watch this. When I stop my feet, the whole ground shakes. Stomp, stomp, stomp! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's raining. Uh-oh, I don't have a superpower for that. Quick, into the super fort. Perfect, nice and dry. <gasps> oh, thunder. I don't like thunder. Me neither. It's a bit scary. Time to hug Ralph. Who's Ralph? Super Ricky, meet Super Ralph. You have a super friend too? Of course. Everyone needs a super friend. And you're not embarrassed to have him? No way. If you're feeling blue, here's what you can do. Give your super friend a hug. If your knees are feeling weak and the world looks pretty bleak, give your super friend a hug. If you're sad or scared or lonely, or just having a bad, bad day, super hugs are great, that's what I'm trying to say. They even freshen your breath and stop tooth decay. Really? Uh, no. But they're still great. I get it if I'm feeling not quite right. Just hold my pal real tight and give my super friend a hug. That's it! And if I'm feeling a bit scared... Now you are prepared to give, give my, my super, super friend. friend. Give my super friend. I said I gotta, I gotta give my super friend, friend a hug. Now that's a superpower. Look, it's Kevin. He has a flat tire. He's getting soaked. Maybe we should invite him into the super fort. Invite him into the super fort? I'm not sure. It would be the super thing to do. OK. Kevin, you want to come in my fort? It's dry in here. OK. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Napkin Man. Thanks for letting me in here with you guys. I don't like thunderstorms. We don't like thunder either. Oh! <gasps> Give my super friend a hug. Maybe Kevin should hug a super friend too, like Blanky. You know what, Scott? That's a great idea. Hey, Napkin Man. Here's a blankie for Kevin. Thanks! It's too bad we don't have an ex or super friend for Kevin. Actually... Kevin, would you like to hold on to this blankie? I don't know. It'll be great for squeezing when it thunders. Okay. Just, Just give, give my super friend, friend a hug. Hey, look, the rain is stopping. 
I'm sorry for teasing you about your teddy bear. Now I know why it's good to have something to hug. That's okay. Hey, want to play superheroes with us? Sure. Hey, Napkin Man, this way. Oh. <laughs> 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 and after that, Ricky was never embarrassed to have Teddy again. So, what do you think? Is Blanky back to being super? Yep. Good, because it really does make a great super cape. You know I have a special friend, too. You do? It's a giraffe named Jenny. She sleeps with me. Really? Your bed must be huge. Jenny's a toy giraffe. I have a pillow with a dinosaur on it. He's a triceratops named Bruce. He looks scary, but he's not. Do you have a special friend, Mr. Anthony? Me? I sure do. Everyone, meet Mr. Stinky. Hello, Mr. Stinky. <laughs> oh, nice to you. Oh, oh, Mr. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of Napkin Man. Clowning around. Well, howdy, partners. Y'all join in the costume parade. Oh, we've got some mighty fine costumes today. A fairy, a fire girl, a princess, a superhero. Well, I'm not rightly sure what that one is. Very good. Hey there, Vikram the Clown. You mind if I join you? Oh, hey, partner, that's a mighty fine clown horn you got there. May I? Oh, it's... Oh, 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 hey, it works. Ooh, this is just the we need for our parade. You want to join us? I don't know. You might have yourself a heap of good fun. Yeah, but Mr. Anthony, I have this weird fluttery feeling in my tummy. Oh, no. A weird, fluttery feeling in your tummy. Yeah. Hmm, I think I know what that fluttery feeling might be. I think maybe you're nervous. I think you're right. I am nervous. Oh, but why are you nervous? Well, I want to play with the other kids, but I don't know them very well. And I'm too nervous to join in. Oh, yeah, well, sometimes joining in can make you feel nervous. You know what I do when I'm feeling that way and I want to get the nervous flutters out of my tummy? What? I do the wiggle shake. Want to see it? Yeah. All right. First, you stand up and you have to do a big wiggle. <laughs> and then you shake. So you get all those nervous flutters to go right out the end of your toes. You try it. First, you wiggle. That's good. That's good. And now you shake. Other foot. Very good. You feel better? Mm-hmm. A little. But I still don't think I can go from there. Hmm. Well, then, how about a napkin man story? Yeah. All right. Well, this one is about the time Napkin Man helped his friend Vincent, who was a clown. Just like me. Just like you. All right. Are you ready to call Napkin Man together? Yep. Napkin, Napkin Man! Hi, Vikram. Hi, Mr. Anthony. Hi, Hi Napkin, Napkin Man. Man. You know, Mr. Anthony, if I'm going to visit my friends in Clown Town, maybe I should be dressed a little bit more clowny? Good idea. Uh... Okay, you color them in. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Very clowny. 
I'm Napkin Man, I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear. I'm your hero. I'm your Napkin Man. Hello, Clown Town, the funniest town around. Ooh, a Jack in the Box. Man. Oh, oh, it was a uh, Vincent in the box. Hi, Vincent the Clown. <laughs> Sorry, Napkin Man. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> scare me? Not a bit, my friend. I'm uh, just uh, getting used to these here clown shoes. Yep, they're a little tricky to walk in. But once you get used to them, they're great. You can do all sorts of fun clowny stuff. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You're the best clown in Clown Town, Vincent. Let me give it a try. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I'm okay! It was all part of the act. <laughs> You're a funny napkin man. <gasps> Boy, this is absolutely exhausting. Hey, more clowns to clown around with. They look like fun. Come on, Vincent. Let's show them our clown moves. <laughs> I don't know. But you're the best clown around. Uh, uh, uh. It's just, um, I have this funny, fluttery feeling in my tummy. Oh, I know that fluttery tummy feeling. I get that when I'm nervous. Uh-huh, I'm nervous. What are you nervous about? I want to join in, but I don't know how. I get the flutters just thinking about it. Hmm, gotcha. Joining in can be tricky. Uh-huh. Well, when I'm nervous, I do the wiggle shake. You want to give it a try? Okay. Wiggle. <laughs> and now, we shake, shake, shake our feet as hard as we can to get those nervous flutters to fly right out our toes. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Feel better? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ready to clown around with the other clowns? Yeah, but I don't know. I've never played with those clowns before. What do I do? Well, I'm glad you asked, Vincent. When you want to join the game but don't know just what to do If you want to make a friend, a good buddy till the end I might have a tip for you You do? It's true! You can never go wrong with a friendly hello It's such a small word, but it's the best one to know With a smile and a wave, you'll be feeling really brave it's a perfect plan to join the fun. Will it work? It's worth a go. Cause there's no simpler thing than saying hello. Such an itty bitty word, but it's the best one to know. If you say it with a smile, it'll be well worth your while. It's a perfect plan to join the fun. 
And that I know! You, you can never go wrong with a friendly hello. hello. Or maybe a rough if you're at a dog <laughs> show. With a smile and a wave, I'll be feeling really brave. If, if I just, just say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think I should say hello? And clown around with the other clowns? Absolutely. <laughs> more, more. So? I think. I think. I'm gonna do it! Go for it, Vincent the Clown! Smile and say. and say. I think Vincent's still a little nervous. I think you're right. It's easy. Just smile and say hello. Just smile and say hello. Hello! Did he say hello? I heard a hello. Should we say hello? Yes, I think so. Hello. Can I clown around with you? Clown around? Can a clown clown around? Of, of course! course. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Very funny. We like funny, like you. Me too. Hello, can I clown around too? Yes, of course. We, we wish, wish you would. would. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 You're good. <laughs> He's a natural. <laughs> Love those shoes. <laughs> And that's the story of how Napkin Man helped Vincent clown around with the other clowns. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. Hey, what do you say we get in on that there parade, partner? Okay. You can never go wrong with a friendly hello. Hello. Can I be in parade? You can stand next to me if you want. Great. That is a very good parade. Honk that horn, Vikram. <laughs> All right. Adventures of Napkin Man. That's my baby. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at this cute, sweet baby teddy bear. Does this belong to you, Sally? I don't like babies. Oh, you don't? Why not? We have a new baby at our house, you know. You have a new baby teddy bear at your house? No, Sally, a new baby sister. New baby sister, oh. And that's a problem? Look at my sticker book. Uh, no stickers. No stickers because of the baby. The baby stole your stickers. No, Sally. It's because I used to play stickers with my mom, but now all she does is take care of the baby. And she doesn't play stickers with me anymore. So, no stickers. Makes me mad. Oh, 
that's a very mad face. I know. I know how that feels. You do? I do. You feel all tight, crunchy. <laughs> that's it, all scrunchy. Well, when I'm feeling really mad, I do the stompy stomp dance. Check it out. Stompy stomp like a dinosaur. Stompy stomp, hear me roar. You try it. Stompy stomp like a dinosaur. Stompy stomp. Let's hear you. Very good. Do you feel better? A bit, but I still have the baby problem. Well then, I think it's time for a Napkin Man story. Did I ever tell you about the time Napkin Man helped Susie, a little girl with a baby brother? I don't think so. Well then, you are gonna love this one. Ready to call Napkin Man? Yeah. Napkin, Napkin Man! Hiya, Sally. Hey, Mr. Anthony. Hi, Napkin Man. Uh, Mr. Anthony. Oh, right. Uh, sorry about that. There you go. Bootyful. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. I'm Napkin Man. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear, I'm your hero. Hiya, Susie. Hiya, Susie's mom. You're just in time, Napkin Man. We're making giant pancakes. We call them Flippy Floppy Flapjacks. Want to help? Flippy Floppy Flapjacks? You bet. What do I do? You can be the Flippy Floppy Flapjack Flipper. Me? A Flippy Floppy Flapjack Flipper? Can this day get any better? <laughs> Nice flapjack flipping, Napkin Man. Thanks. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. What's that noise? That's my baby brother, Barry. He sure is loud. Yep. Whew. That's better. Shh, Napkin Man. You have to whisper. Why? You'll see. The baby's almost asleep. You need to be extra quiet, okay? Um, maybe you two should play in the other room. <sighs> That's why. Oh, we'd better skedaddle. This happens every time I start doing something fun with my mom. The baby starts crying? And mom goes running to look after him. It makes me really mad. Mad? I know how that feels. You get all tight and scrunchy. Yeah, that's it. Super scrunchy. Know what makes me feel better when I'm super scrunchy mad? The stompy stomp dance. Stompy stomp like a dinosaur. Stompy stomp, now hear me roar. Shh. Napkin man, don't stomp like that. You'll wake up the baby. Whoops, I forgot. See, another thing I can't do, the stompy stomp dance. Hmm, how about silly mad faces? They don't make any noise. Silly mad faces? Sure, you scrunch up your face like this. <laughs> Those are pretty scrunchy mad faces, not man. Give it a try, Susie. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really scrunchy, mad face. You look... 
Why, thank you, Mapkin Man. Feel any better? A little. Mm. Uh-oh. The baby woke up. But we were being really quiet. I know. It's not your fault, Mapkin Man. Sometimes the baby just wakes up on his own. Susie, can you try and cheer up Barry while I go and get him some food? Sure, Mom. Hi, baby Barry. You look kind of mad. You know what I think he needs? Silly mad faces! He's so cute when he laughs. He sure is. I really love my baby brother. Sure you do. You just miss flippy floppy flapjack time with your mom. Uh-huh. You know what you should do, Susie? What? Tell her. What do you mean? If you feel you miss your mother because of your baby brother, tell her. Tell her? Tell her. Tell your mother how you feel and why your feeling's real. Tell her. Tell her. That's right. Mad faces can be fun. They look good on anyone. But they don't tell the whole story. I guess they don't. If your brother is a bother, then you have to tell your mother, or she won't know what your mad face is for real. Right. Just like Flippy Flapjacks need a flipper who will flip them. Really busy mommies need a daughter who will tell them, Mom, what's going on? In your words or in a song. Then she'll understand what's wrong if you just tell her. Aw, <laughs> you got baby Barry all giggly. How'd you do it? Silly mad faces. Uh. Wow, that's some face. <laughs> no wonder he laughed. So, can we finish making our pancakes now? Not just yet, honey. I, I need to feed Barry. You know what, Mr. Anthony? What? Susie should tell her mom if she's mad and why she's mad. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. <laughs> Good thinking, Susie. Can I give that a try? Sure, Napkin Man. That would be great. Uh, mom, I have something to tell you. I didn't do my silly mad face just to make Barry laugh. You didn't? No, I did it because I was really, really, really mad. Ooh, why are you so mad, honey? Because every time we start doing something fun together... You mean like flippy floppy flapjacks? Yeah, then Barry starts crying. And I go running to take care of him. Every time. It's hard with a new baby brother, honey. <sighs> it is. But I am very, very glad you told me why you were mad. Thank you. <laughs> Napkin Man, can you finish feeding Barry for me, please? Uh, well, I'll try. Thanks. Susie and I have some flapjacks to flip. Flippy floppy flapjack! There you go. Thanks for your help. It was a good story. Oh, there's your mom, Sally, and the baby. Hi, Sally. Hi, Mom. Oh, how sweet. Can I hold it? <laughs> sure. Why? <laughs> Mom, can I show you something? Sure, honey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Look. Uh-oh. No stickers. I guess we haven't had much sticker time since the baby came. Sometimes it makes me feel mad. I didn't know you felt that way, Sally. I'm so glad you told me. Now that I know, I can do something about it. How about when we get home, Dad can feed Sophie, and you and I can finish this sticker book. Would that work? Yeah. Great! Hey, is anybody missing a little baby sister? <laughs> so cute. Yes. I really love my baby sister. The Adventures of Napkin Man. <laughs>
Moroccan music. And the brave princess hopped on her magic carpet and flew all the way back to her palace in Morocco. The end. All right, let's hop on our magic carpets and fly off to our play areas. <laughs> I need it. No, I need it. Benny, Louise, what's going on here? I want to make a lion, and I want to make an eagle. Isn't there enough clay to make both ideas? No! Uh, well, then maybe you can just make one creature. Then it should be my lion. Ooh. It should be my eagle. Hmm. Those are some very tightly crossed arms. Yeah, I feel all tight and twisty. Tight and twisty, all right. I think maybe the two of you are feeling very frustrated. Yep, that's it, I'm frustrated. Very frustrated. Very frustrated, hmm. Well, you know, when I'm feeling very frustrated and my arms are all crossed and tight and like pretzels, I do the pretzel pull. The what? The pretzel pull. Check it out. First, you stand up, you cross your arms all tight and pretzely like, then you pull very slowly. Very slowly. And then you stretch. Ah, you try it. Cross tight and pretzely to the pretzel pull. Slowly pull it, and then you go stretch. Oh, that's very good. Do you feel better? Yeah, not so frustrated. But I still want to make my eagle. And I want to make my lion. What do we do? Hmm. I think maybe we need a napkin man story to help you decide. You want to hear it? Oh, yes. OK. This one is about the time that Napkin Man helped a little boy named Kareem and a little girl named Amina. They were musicians in ancient Morocco. Morocco? Just like in the storybook you read before. Just like that. Does this story have magic carpets in it? Let's find out. All right. Are you ready to call Napkin Man? Yep. yep. Napkin, Napkin Man! Man! Hiya, Benny and Louise. Hey, Mr. Anthony. Uh, Mr. Anthony? He drew his cape on backwards. Yeah, it's supposed to be on his back, not his front. OK, Napkin Man. There. Thank you, Mr. Anthony. Now I'm ready. I'm Napkin Man. I'm here. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear, I'm your hero. The Sultan's Palace. Kareem and Amina must be around here somewhere. That sounds like their music. Hi, Kareem. Hi, Amina. Hi, Lucky Man. Do you remember our pet camel, Carl? Of course I do. Who could forget such a cheerful camel as Carl? Be careful, Napkin Man. Carl likes to <laughs> lick. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cheerful. Luckily, I have my trusty napkin cape. <laughs> you two were playing such nifty music. Thanks, we're each playing a song for the Sultan's party. I'm gonna play a fast song like this. Ooh, zippy, I love it. And I'm going to play a slow song, like this. Oh, so 
gentle and slow. Both songs sound fantastic. Fantastic indeed. <laughs> Sweet music to a sultan's ears. Hiya, sultan. Hi, napkin man. Nice to see you again. Are you coming to my party at the palace? I'd be delighted to. I can't wait to hear Kareem and Amina's songs. Songs? Did you say songs as in more than one song? Oh, no. I'm afraid not. What? My party is very busy. There will be only time for one song. But I know it will be great. Ta-ta! We can only play one song? Well, then it has to be Zippy Fast. Zippy Fast. Slow. Zippy fast. Gentle slow. Zippy fast. Gentle slow. Uh oh, you're both frustrated and tight and twisty as a pretzel. It's time to do the pretzel pull. Slowly pull your pretzel arms apart. And stretch! Ah, you two try. Pull those pretzel arms apart and stretch! Feel better? Yes. But I still want to play my song. And I want to play mine. What should we do? wants to play a fast song on her drum. And Kareem wants to play a slow song on his guitar. Hey, maybe they could each play their instruments the way they want to in the same song. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Hmm. I have an idea. What if you both play your instruments together in one song? That could work. But I still want to play my Zippy Fast song. And I still want to play my gentle, slow one. You can play a song with some Zippy Fast parts and some gentle, slow parts. Like this. When you both have an idea but you can't agree, put them both together and soon you will see you might have something better than one idea could be. By themselves your songs sound fine, but put them together, yes, combine, then your songs will sound even more divine. Start with a little strum, begin nice and slow. Now add some speedy drums, and then before you know, your song will get zippy fast And the fun will last and last, slow then fast Together you play, each in your own special way And when you do, your song's even better You make great music when you play together Napkin man. <laughs> Thanks, but the carpet really does all the work. Okay, are you two ready to work on your song together? Yeah. Okay, you start slow and gentle. And I'll play zippy fast. Now you've got it. And just in time too. Amina, Kareem, you're on! Yeah. <laughs> oh, fabulous! Magnificent! Great job, you two! Thanks, Napkin Man! Always glad to help, but I really should be going now. 
You're always welcome at my palace, Napkin Man. Thanks, Sultan. Bye, Bye Napkin, Napkin Man. Man. Bye, Kareem. Bye, Amina. Thanks for the great music. And bye to you too, Carl, you cheerful camel you. And that's the story of how Napkin Man helped Kareen and Amina combine their ideas. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, we should combine our ideas and make an even better clay creature. We can make something that is part lion and part eagle. A lion eagle. Sounds great. Mr. Anthony, we're finished. Oh, wow. Benny, Louise, that is awesome. Hey, look what I made. A tiny guitar. In case your lion eagle wants to strum a tune for the Sultan. <laughs> <laughs>